Hi everybody, welcome back. So as you probably saw from the title of the video, this is gonna be an entire uh, video concentrating on the Revlon brand. And what I'm excited about this one is because I had never really used like a whole entire uh, full face of Revlon. I've picked and choosed here and there, uh, but when I was in the store, I saw a bunch of new launches that they were, uh, that they had up uh, as displays. So I thought, why don't I give it a try and we'll just do a full face of it. So if you're curious to see what products I used, then let's get into the video. So I think what we're, we'll first start off with is my eyebrows because uh, I always like to do them before foundation. And the one that I have is, it's the Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator. So it has the pencil on this side and then the spoolie on this side. And this is in the shade Medium Brown, which is usually a pretty good shade for me. But like I said, I. For whatever reason, I've never really gravitated to Revlon. I've bought a few products here and there, but I don't know why I've never really used a bunch of their stuff. So when I saw that all these new products were in the store, I thought, hey, let's do a Revlon look. There, there are some really nice, uh, the eyeshadow and the uh, highlighters and that sort of thing, I, I can't wait to use. They look super beautiful. And I like this pencil. It's it's okay. It's not as, it's not my favorite one compared to my Maybelline, but this one does a pretty decent job. The hairs will stay in place for the for the day. Not a lot of like a waxy buildup on them. I just love doing my brows because it just frames your whole face. And what also is very cool about the eyebrow pencil is right in the middle, you can twist it off and it has one of these little sponge tip applicators and it just helps soften your eyebrow hairs. It's like a little diffuser. And I use that just to fill in any little sparse areas that I have. And then I just take the spoolie and I run it through the brow hairs one more time. And then I think we're good. Yeah, it just gives kind of like a really soft look for the eyebrow. So I really enjoy that. So next we're gonna go in with some primer. And normally I would use this primer here. That's kind of like one of my favorites from Revlon, the uh, Prime Plus, the brightening one. But one of my YouTube friends, she swears by this one here, the Revlon, the Rose Glow. And she said it is just a phenomenal primer. So I was really curious about to try this one. And it has, what you, I don't know if you can kind of see, they have like little beads in there. And what it says is, Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer. And this is in ro uh, rose quartz. Now I didn't see any other colors of this one, so I think this is the only one. And it just, you place a few drops into your hands, rub together to melt the oil beads. Oh, so they're like an oil bead. Apply to face for illuminated skin. And it says you can wear alone or under any cream, liquid, or powder foundation. So I was very, very curious about this. So it's just like a, okay, so, oh, okay. So it's like a dropper. So I have to put some in there. Oh, okay, there you go. And I'm just gonna put some in my hands, like it says. So it is like quite creamy. It's like very runny. So I'm just gonna do what it says and rub it between my hands. doesn't really have uh, like a scent to it really and it's not very tacky but it is leaving my skin illuminated I can definitely see some illumination happening I'm just gonna get a little bit more for my forehead so the only thing I just I, I don't know how I feel about the dropper yet the jury's kind of out on it right now I'm I'm basically sucking the product into the dropper head but then when you go to try and put it onto your hands, not a lot comes out that I can see. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more on. So it is, yes, very hydrating and illuminating. 
And I'm going to let that sit. I usually let primer sit into my uh, and sink into my skin a little bit before I start working on the foundation. So now that I've had a chance for the primer to set on my face, it is actually very hydrating and my skin feels like super soft right now. So that's really nice. I really do. Uh, so far, I'm, I'm really liking that. that and it's not overly tacky. So we'll see how it works with the foundation. So we will go in with uh, a new foundation, but the name isn't new. Uh, it's the Revlon The Color Stay, but this says that it's like light cover and it's a 12 hour natural finish, which you know, you guys know I, I prefer that. And I have this one in the shade 210. This is cream brulee. And what it basically says is up to 12 hour wear plus 56% all day hydration, no parabens, uh, fragrance, mineral and mineral oil. So it sounds like as I'm shaking it right now, it sounds quite liquidy. Oh, that's very different. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. It comes like a, as like a little squeezy bottle. Now, when I'm trying out a new foundation, I like to see how it applies with two different methods. So half my face, I'm gonna do a brush and the other half I'll use my sponge. So this is just the real techniques. This is just a, like a buffing brush. And then I have my regular sponge that I'll use. So I think what I'll do is, hmm, I don't wanna put it right onto my face. Face. So I think I'll just put it onto the back of my hand. So it is very, very liquidy. It's going to start running down my hand. And that was just like one squeeze. And hopefully, I think the shade is going to be pretty good for me right now because I am on the paler side. So I'll put it on that side with the brush. This side. I don't want it running down my hand while I'm... <laughs> Try and apply that so I'll just put it all on my face. So I'm not using a lot and we'll see how it blends in here. Okay, so it is very, very light. This would be perfect if you're looking for a, a like a no makeup makeup day. I can already see that. Yes, very, very light coverage. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more. I don't even know if this really even compares to like a, a BB, like a BB cream, I think has a little bit more coverage than this. But you can definitely see like my natural skin poking through. Okay, so that is this side, very, very light coverage. I don't know if you can even kind of see the difference, like extremely light, oh my goodness. So now this side, I'll use the sponge. And usually with a brush, I get a little bit more coverage and with the sponge, it shears it out a little bit more. But it is blending in pretty decent. It doesn't have any sort of uh, like a scent at all, really, really, which is nice. I, I'm not overly big on scents. So looking at both sides, I did get, this side does have a tiny bit more coverage with the brush. This definitely, like this literally does not look like I have anything on. If I'm being quite honest, like on the sponge side, it really doesn't even look like I've put anything on my face. So this is if you are looking to have like a really natural look, which I mean, I guess it really does say that it's a, it does say natural finish on there. So I, I don't know why I'm surprised, but I thought I, I guess I would have a little bit more coverage, but overall, not bad. It's, it's, it's not definitely going to be a, a favorite of mine if I'm being honest because I just like a more of like a light, a light medium. So we'll have to see how this works uh, for the rest of the day. I'll leave a comment in the description box down below. I'm not gonna do like a, a wear test for you today. I've got so many things on the go, but uh, well, I'll let you know just, yeah, how, how it's worked throughout the day. So far, I mean, it, it did blend in pretty decent and I can't see that it was, uh, it didn't, it's not like patchy at all or 
it's not settling into my lines here, but yeah, it's just a really, really, really light coverage. So we'll, we'll play with that and see how that goes. So next we're going to go in with concealer. So the Revlon concealer that I have is, it's the Photo Ready uh, Candid Concealer. And I have this one in the shade uh, 15 Light. Now it says it's a concealer with caffeine, antioxidants, anti-pollution, anti-blue light, without sulfates, no harsh fragrances, oil-free, medium coverage. This is the only thing about this concealer that I do recall. It wasn't my absolute favorite, if I'm being honest. I don't know if it's the formulation. I like the, like the whole concept. It's like a nice little different kind of wand. It's not really a doe foot, but it's a different kind of wand. If I remember, like I haven't really used it in months, to be honest. I'm just going to put it right in the corner here where I need it. But we'll see if I, it's quite a, like a yellow uh, undertone, which is okay for the, the dark uh, pigmentation under my eyes. I'm just going to bring it right up onto my lid and use that kind of as a primer for my lid. I mean, it does melt into the skin. I will give it that. But see how, like, it really, I, I don't think, like, if you guys can see, I don't think it's really covered a lot under my eyes. It just, I don't know, it, it definitely, in my opinion, this is not medium coverage. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more under there and I'll blend it in with my fingers this time. Sometimes the warmth of your finger just kind of helps things blend in a bit better. If you see that little scratch right there, I, did, I guess I thought it was a good idea the other morning when I was taking my pajama top off. And as I was taking it off, I caught my nail on my under my eye and I just went rip. So that felt just awesome. So note to self, try not to do that. I'm glad I just didn't, I didn't catch my eye. Yeah, the concealer is just, I don't know, a little bit too yellowish for me and does not have the coverage that I am looking for. I can still like I can on this one I can still see just and I don't want to put any more concealer it's just going to start getting all cakey on me so I'll just leave it at that and I think I'm going to forego there wasn't any powder that I really saw that I that intrigued me so I think I'm going to forego any powder today just because this it doesn't look too bad with just the foundation and uh, the primer there so we'll go yeah we'll go without powder right now and we'll it doesn't look very like overly shiny anyhow uh, because that is such a light foundation all right so now this is the one product that looked so pretty when I saw it in the store and it's the eyeshadow palette that I picked up so it's called the Revlon so fierce that's a dub is the shade or like the shade palette name isn't that pretty and it says it's a prisma prismatic palette richly textured eyeshadow delivers creamy color with crystal shine now that's the only thing that was a little bit concerning is when you have uh, on older eyes when you kind of get those shimmers sometimes they don't look the best but we'll give it a try because they're wasn't a lot to choose from but again it was one of those like I wanted to try and do a whole bunch of new products that I saw and this was sitting there there was a couple of other I think there was two other palettes but this one was more in my wheelhouse my color wheelhouse the other one was uh, had very very br uh, like vibrant colors in it which you know is not me sometimes trying to get the package open is like half the battle okay so there it is and I'll do some swatching for you because I am really curious to see how pigmented these are. Just wipe my hands off. Okay, so that's going to be that first one there. And let's run it here. Okay, so that's pretty. And this looks almost like a, a greeny, like an olive color. But that's not how it looks on there, but it is quite pretty. And this one looks like a like a violet so let's put that there okay so that one's really pigmented and then this is like a wow holy smokes we'll put this one up here so that one's that one i think out of all of them is the hardest to kind of show up i liked how it said they were uh, like a creamy formula 
I'm just going with my NYX. This is a, like a number 16 brush. So I think what I'll first do is put on, I, I guess I'll use, this as my transition shade. It's very light, but this one looks like it has some shimmer. So I don't really want to use a, a shimmer shade for my transition shade. So they are very creamy. I can feel that as I'm putting it on. I mean, it's accentuating my, I can kind of see on this one here, it's just kind of accentuating those wrinkles that I have. So that's one of the unfortunate things with uh, palettes like this, like the, just those shades when you have older eyes, but we'll, we'll keep persevering here. So I think what I'll do, I'm going to darken up that outer edge. So let's first go in with that greeny kind of color and let's see how this does. I'm just going to bring it right along the bone here. Again, this is just light, light coverage. It's not, they're not extremely pigmented as you can kind of see, like it's just depositing a tiny bit of color. So now thinking back to the ones that I saw in the store, they may not have been as vibrant when you actually get them on as I thought. It was a really pretty, uh, the one palette had a, like a beautiful blue. All right. So this isn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. I thought these were going to be like quite uh, pigmented. It's one thing about uh, like drugstore palettes is sometimes it's just really hit and miss. So next I'm going to go in and darken that other area up with the darker, like a, the mauve color. And I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer V part. There's a tiny little bit of fallout, but I can just brush that away. So overall, not bad. It's, a, it's giving me like a nice little purple vibe with that one shade. And then I think what I'll do is with this last shade here that I haven't used yet, I'm just going to put that in the center, but I'm going to use my finger because I think they apply a little bit better. These shimmer shades, like, oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. And we'll just kind of put that right in the middle, just to give a little bit of pop of color. There, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just blend it together a little tiny bit. So overall, it's just kind of giving me a really, really soft uh, look and it doesn't look too bad, especially with it being more of a creamy texture. It's actually not looking too, too bad where, you know, like my wrinkly upper eye area is. So we're next going to go in with some uh, eyeliners. And so I picked up two. So I have the uh, Colorstay 202 Black Brown and I'm going to do the top of my eye with this one. And then I have the Colorstay Micro Hyper Precise Gel Eyeliner with a smudger. And that is in like a shade, the beige shade. And I'm going to use that for my waterline. And this says that it wears up to 16 hours and it has a built-in sharpener. So I do like ones that have those sharpeners on them. Sometimes I find when you have a shade, like those shimmer shades, it's sometimes harder to get the pencil uh, to go over top of it. But I'm just trying to get it as close to my lash line as I can. And I can definitely see it does have that like a, a browner tinge. It's almost like a, a coffee color, but with that really precise tip, I can kind of make like a little baby wing. And then if you don't like the harshness of the line, you can use this little, uh, like the little smudger on the end and smudge it out. And then I'm just going to take that beige and do my water line. And it says that it is waterproof. So that's good. That's going to help that color stay there. So it's not as pigmented as I've had other waterline uh, pencils. I mean, you can kind of see it in there, but it's, um, yeah, usually with the, like a beige, you can really see it just really brightens your eye up, but this one is really uh, muted. So next is mascara. So I'm going to go in for the uh, Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. And this also looked like it was new. I'm trying to think back if I've even tried a Revlon mascara. And this one says extreme volume and lash tint effect and up to 24 hour wear ultra creamy formula for your baddest volume all day and all night uh, lash tint technology darkens bare lashes in as little as seven days with daily use no clumping no smudging no flaking 92% uh, achieved the overall look 94% saw lashes intensified and darkened 
Oh, okay. So I didn't realize it was like a, like a tint as well. So it has a double-sided brush. One is called the big side and one is called the bad side. So use the curvy big side first until desired volume is achieved. Flip the brush to the flat side, flat bad side to brush out from root to tip. Oh, you know what? This is trying to be like that, uh, the Maybelline, the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Is that, I think that's what it's called. So that is, I guess, the different one there. So I guess I used the big side first, and that looks like the big side to me. So let's do this first. It's not clumping, so that's good. Okay, I can definitely see, like, when you do flip the wand, you can feel it goes through the lashes a little bit differently than when you have it on its side. And it is getting all these little hairs that I have right in the very corner. Sometimes those are a little bit difficult to get. All right, not bad. That's just uh, like one coat I haven't dipped back into the container yet. And now I'll do the other side. It's not an overly like liquidy formula but it's not exactly like a drying formula. I find uh, the L'Oreal The Lash Paradise kind of gives you like more of a dry formula. So I would say this is kind of right in the middle. But I find that interesting. I guess I didn't read the whole package when I first picked it up with that this can also tint your lashes. Yeah, it's definitely, you can tell the two different sides of the wand because one is really pulling your lashes through and giving, like coating the product on. And then when you flip it a little bit, you can feel that it just is kind of putting stuff on the ends. Yeah, interesting, okay. And I don't think I told you, but this is the shade uh, Blackest Black. So the mascara is on now, that's finished. And I couldn't really find anything for a bronzer from Revlon. So I just went and did uh, like a, just a regular uh, bronzer off camera. And then we're gonna start in with a blush. So the blush that I picked up is, it's a Revlon Photo Ready Insta Blush, but is like a, a stick formula. So I thought, let's give that a try because I am trying more uh, cream products. So it just comes like a nice little stick. And I have this one in the shade 300. This is, just let me see here, Rose Gold Kiss. Now I don't usually apply things directly to my face because I don't know how it's going to look. So that is kind of the shade right there. But I'll first try and see how it looks with my finger. And then if that hasn't worked out, then I will, I guess, use a brush. Oh, it's very creamy. It's a very nice texture as I'm like wiping it on my hand here. Okay, well, let's see kind of how it does with my finger. And that doesn't really seem like it's doing anything. So let's go in with a brush. It's, it's, I mean, it's a very light blush, so I'll just, I'm just dabbing it onto the brush and hoping something comes up on it. Okay, I think I got some kind of color there. I don't know. I can't really see. I don't know. I, I honestly can't see anything, you guys. I don't, I don't know if this is showing up. Interesting, okay. Uh, so, so far I'm really liking the mascara. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on here. I mean, it's a, it looks beautiful on the skin, but I don't wanna put that like, like, it, like put on like a crayon on my face. Okay, well, I think I can see a, there is a little bit of like a sheen right there. Hmm, okay. So let's try the highlighters. So I have a, I picked up a couple of highlighters. Now this one, I know it's been around for a long time and I think that's probably why it was on. It was it like in the clearance section. So I did get it on a discounted price, but it's the Revlon Photo Ready Sunlit Dream. So it's the highlight palette. This is number two, but the highlights look really, really pretty. And I'll just kind of, oh my, like, look at that. That's this one here. And then that one. So that one, those are pretty. This is like a more of like a rose gold color. 
And then I also picked it because I had heard really good things about this highlighter. So this one intrigued me the most. I'm not sure, maybe I'll just use one highlighter on one side of my face and, and a different highlighter on the other. So this is the Revlon The Skin Lights. And I have this one in the shade, what is this one? 201 Daybreak Glimmer. Okay, so now that I finally got the packaging open, this one looks very promising. Isn't that beautiful? So let's just, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Let's see, kind of, uh, it doesn't really show up all that great on the hand, but let's try it on a fluffy brush. So I think I'll do this on this side and I'll use one of those either little, little round ones on the other side. Okay, so that is quite pretty. I do like that. The formula is very creamy. So I do like that. Hopefully it's not gonna settle all onto my fine lines there. And then I will use a different fluffy brush and why don't we go in with this more, this one here, that one looks really pretty. So let's do that shade over on the other side. Oh, that one's very pretty too, I like that. Okay, so we have winners with the highlighters and they seem pretty comparable. That's that one side, that's pretty. And that one, very nice. Just run this down the center. I am running out and doing some errands today, so I'm gonna be wearing a mask, so try not to put too much on there. All right, so next up is a lip product. So I picked up the Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink and I have this in the shade, oh my goodness, Partner in Crime. And it's a very pretty, so it's just the packaging is very nice. And it looks like a more of like a mauve -y. it's like a dusty rose mauve -y color. So that's quite pretty. Again, I haven't really used a lot of Revlon lip products. So I like the shade, that is a nice shade, very subtle. And I like how it has like a really, like a pointed tip. So you can kind of right get into these areas here in the corners. All right, so I like that, that's very nice. I do, they had a whole bunch of different shades. All right, so this is the completed look. I think it turned out quite uh, pretty. I do like a few of the products and there's going to be some products that I'm definitely on the fence about and I will have to use uh, again to see how well they do. I guess my, the first one I'll have to see is because primers are one of those things that you kind of have to test throughout the day how it well how well it does. Like I said my favorite is this one. This is like I love 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 this uh, primer. Uh, so we'll see how well this rose gold uh, glow one does. I, I do like how it applied and it made my skin very soft and hydrated feeling. Uh, the foundation, again, I'll, I'll kind of test it throughout the day and see how it looks. I mean, like I said, I, I, I know it says on here light cover, but I didn't think it was going to be that light coverage. Like it literally did not look like I have anything on my face. And even now when I'm looking at it, I, I built up a little bit with the uh, bronzer, but yeah, I mean, I can definitely see all of my uh, natural skin poking through, but for me personally, I do like just a tiny bit more coverage. Uh, I, I, I think I had mentioned earlier, like I, I have BB creams that have a little bit more coverage than this. So, but if you like, if you're somebody that just wants to have one of those days where it doesn't really look like you're wearing anything, then this would be excellent for you. So uh, I'll continue to use this and see kind of my thoughts on it. It's always one of the things where you do a first impression video and you have to try it a few more times before you kind of get like a more of an in-depth uh, thought on it. So I'll, I'll definitely use this one a few more times and see how, how that is. The concealer, like, like I said, it's this, this has never really been my favorite and just doesn't give me the coverage that I want. That's for me personally. I have really dark under eye circles. Somebody that doesn't have those dark pigmentation uh, like as much as me, uh, you'd probably really like this. Uh, it is very nice having that yellowish undertone uh, to it because that does kind of hide that a tiny bit more. Uh, the two eyeliners, I will say I'm still surprised. Like, I don't know if you can kind of see like in my lower rim right here, it really doesn't even look like I'm wearing like a waterline color. So that one, those, these, this one is a little bit disappointing. The beige one is a little bit disappointing. I, I just expected more pigmentation. And uh, this one here, it, it's so, the eyeliner again, was one of those things to judge. I'll see later on if it does any sort of flay, uh, like 
fading or flaking or that sort of thing. So we'll see how that wears. Uh, the eyeshadow, again, I'll need to use it again. Uh, I liked the colors and I like how it's not making my eyes look really uh, dry. It, it does definitely have that nice creamy uh, formula to it. And like I said, my only concern was just the, the shimmer effect to it. And when I'm looking at it now, it doesn't look too, too bad, even with that, that little bit of shimmer in the product. And then the blush, eh, I don't know. I think this may have been a bit of a, a fail for me. I don't know. I'll try using it a different way next time and see see how it does but yeah that was I guess out of everything that's kind of like my least favorite is the the blush and then I do really like the two highlighters those are really pretty I really like this one this is just stunning so I love I'm a highlighter junkie so I love that the mascara I think it did a really nice uh, job it did volumize I'm not going to say that it necessarily lengthens your lashes but it does give them volume it's not clumpy and yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's an okay, we'll see. It does say to use it like for like a, on a continuous basis to get that little, uh, the tinting effect to it. So again, one of those products I'll have to continue to use. And so far, I think out of everything, I really like the lippy. The color, I really like the color. I think that's really pretty. And uh, the formulation, I think it's really nice and creamy. It feels very hydrating on my lips. So I, uh, out of everything, I think so far I'm, I'm liking the lip color the most. And I also had picked up uh, like a, a nail polish. I didn't put it on today just because it's like a really bright pink, but it said Ultra HD Snap and it is a one coat, just basically says that one coat should do it. So we'll see how that does. I, this is more of like a spring shade, but I wanted to grab it because it looked like the stand was selling out really fast. So that's, I'll, I'll try that on another day. But other than that, those are my final thoughts on all the products. You know, the first time really trying like a whole bunch of Revlon, I've been really choosy over the years. I've kind of picked and, and chosen products, but uh, I've never really done like a whole Revlon look. So before you go, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love for you to be a part of my little world here on YouTube. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and that way you're notified whenever I upload new videos. And give, let me know down in the comments below if there's products uh, of Revlon that maybe I did try or that are kind of your favorites. So as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.